Hello guys, welcome to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Wonka Ndwandwe. I'm from South Africa. So today I'm going to do a vlog and show you how to make vlogs manually uh, by my hand at home. So this is part two. I did the video before and most of you loved the dead video. They asked me to do another one. So today I'm going to do that video you asked guys on comment section. So I'll take you step by step of how to make vlogs manually by yourself at home. So I will be showing you each and every step of how to make blocks so let us start uh, right now i'm gonna show you everything so things that i will need on this video i will need a wheelbarrow a river sand and cement those are the things we're going to use on this uh, video today so by now let us start and show you every step i will start by loading sand to the wheelbarrows and uh, before continue with mixing let us start and see everything guys nazog Guys, right now, as you see behind me, there is a river sand and a hill barrow. Uh, these are the tools that I'm going to use for today. So, I'm going to load the, uh, this river sand to the hill barrow. I will load five uh, hill barrows uh, according to the instruction of the cement bag. You need to do or load eight hill barrows, but based on my experience, if you do eight, your blocks are not becoming strong. So. Uh, you need to decrease number of wheel barrows. So we'll do five wheel barrows. So let us go, guys. So, guys, you need to make sure that your sand have no stones. So, as you can see, I'm trying to keep stone aside so that your blocks will not crack. If there are stones within your sand your blocks will crack so i'm making sure that uh, my sand is uh, smooth without any um So guys, uh, this is a mixing. You need to make sure that uh, when you mix a cement with the river sand, you make it solid so that your blocks will be strong. So this is what I'm currently doing, mixing. Okay, so guys, uh, I'm done with mixing sand and cement. So what is left now is to level it again and mix it with the water. Then I'm done. That is where I'll be starting to make blocks. Let us go and see of how I'm going to do it. So guys, this is 20 liter and this is 20 liter, so equal to 40 liter of um, uh, this water. Okay, so I'm going to mix it with this. I'm done with first 20. I will put, put another one.
so I'm building another one so So I will collect another 20 liter, then it will be fine. fine. So this is what you're going to use to make blocks. Now I'm going to go and wash it before uh, I'm starting to make blocks. So guys, I'm washing chain block that I'm going to use so that uh, my blocks will be smooth and will not be damaged because of its dryness so you, you, may, you need to make sure that your machine is wet before you start making blocks so yeah it is now clean and wet I'm going to start load my first block. So you need to pull this not by force smooth then follow by this so, This is our first block as you can see So guys, I'm finally done, this is what I was doing, I'm done with making blocks. In total, I made um, 32 blocks, so yeah, this is what I was doing, these are my blocks from my own hands, so I'm done, I'm finally done, um, yeah.
as you can see they are so beautiful they are so so beautiful i'm done thank you so much for watching this video hello guys welcome again to this vlog today it's day two we continue with making of a blocks manually using my hands so today i'm going to watering my blocks uh, you need to make sure that you water them uh, before you use them so that they will be strong enough um yeah so let us go and see what is going to happen guys yeah so here I'm going to put the water in this container. Um. You can use any water, even dirty water, no problem, you can use them. Yeah, so now I'll start. I will do it one by one. Actually, I'm supposed to be using a pipe, so my pipe is not long enough to uh, cover at this distance because. Uh, I'm far away from the place where there is a pipe, so my path is not enough to arrive in this place. So that is why I'm using my hands like this to water them. Yeah, but like my blocks are strong enough, even if you can stand on top of them, they are not breaking because they're strong enough. So uh, if you do your mixing properly, there will be no problem so mind you you need to use um, also a stronger cement so that you will not have any problem So it's a long process guys, if you want to make your blocks so strong, you need to follow this process at home. But in companies, they are not doing what I do here because they are using chemicals for their blocks to be strong. In fact, they don't water them, they use chemicals. But at home, we are not using chemicals. But if, if you have those chemicals, you can use them at home. But me, myself, I don't have those chemicals, so I just water them to make them strong. This is how I do it, but most of the time, whenever I do uh, tons of blocks, I water them using pipe so that it becomes easy. But for today, I was just doing a tutorial. My aim was not to make blocks. It was for a tutorial purpose. So that is why I did one uh, cement bag. So yeah guys, this is how I used to do it. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'm out.